Today, we're addressing the recent controversy surrounding Blackpink's Lisa. Amidst rumors and accusations, Lisa has finally made an appearance in the Oz, putting many speculations to rest. Let's get into the details. On July 27th, Lisa was seen in the Oz, looking as stunning as ever. A dancer posted several photos with Lisa on Instagram. Captioned, we met finally. So glad to see you. I will always support this Thai girl. Lisa's bright smile and glamorous visuals have reassured fans that she is doing well, despite the swirling rumors. Many believe that the rumors have not affected her or the other Blackpink members. A few days ago, a TikToker accused Lisa of being a homewrecker, claiming that a euphoric actor used to date a member of a K-pop girl group and that this idol had broken three other relationships. The TikToker named Lisa and Dominique Fike as the main characters in her story. Chinese netizens discovered that Dominique Fike wrote a song called Mona Lisa and linked it to Lisa. They also pointed out photos of their supposed couple tattoos. However, fans quickly refuted these claims. Dominique Fike clarified that Mona Lisa was written for a hero movie and has nothing to do with Lisa. Additionally, fans proved that Lisa and Dominique's tattoos are completely different. Moreover, the TikToker who spread these rumors has a history of making false accusations about other artists. Netizens believe she is simply trying to gain attention by dragging Lisa's name into the controversy. It's clear that these rumors lack substantial evidence and are likely fabricated. Lisa's recent appearance and the support from her fans and colleagues demonstrate that she remains strong and unbothered by these baseless accusations. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you think these rumors were completely unfounded? Today, we're diving into a deeply emotional topic. Ellie Seraphim's newly released documentary trailer has shocked and worried fans with its raw depiction of the members' struggles. Let's get into the details. On July 28th, Hype Labels released the trailer for Ellie Seraphim's second documentary, Make IT Look Easy. While it begins with positive moments from the group's career, it quickly takes a darker turn. The trailer showcases the members dealing with both mental and physical hardships. In one scene, Chi Win is seen receiving and fought drip, which has left fans deeply concerned. Fans have also noted scenes of exhaustion during their schedules and Yoonjin in tears, expressing how difficult it is to balance happiness and satisfaction. One of the most distressing moments in the trailer features Sakura in a state of extreme distress, with a staff member pleading for the filming to stop. Fans believe this was filmed back in May last year when Sakura was too ill to attend an event for Unforgiven. Seeing these vulnerable moments has sparked an outpouring of concern from Fear Nuts, with many fans expressing heartbreak over the members' struggles. This isn't the first time Ellie Seraphim's health has been a topic of concern. Earlier this year, Shi Yuin's large intake of vitamins and supplements worried fans about her overall well-being. Adding to the emotional weight, the documentary comes after months of backlash against the group. Yuki and Sakura, in particular, face severe criticism following their Coachella performance, which led to disabling their Instagram comments due to the negative response. In the trailer, Yunki says, To me, the word success feels really far away, while Sakura questions, Was an idol really the job that I can do best? These statements highlight the immense pressure and scrutiny they face. Many fans hope this documentary will open hearts and minds, showing the human side of Ellie Seraphim and helping to stop the toxic hate they've received. Ellie Seraphim's previous documentary, the world is my oyster, was praised for its honest portrayal of idle life. Make ID Look Easy is set to release on July 29th at 8 o'clock p.m. KST, and fans are bracing themselves for a deeply moving experience. Today, we've got some exciting updates from Con LA 2024, where BTS's Jungkook made a massive impact despite currently being in the military. Let's dive into the details. The Golden Macni often dubbed the idol of idols, had his presence felt all over Con LA 2024. So many artists chose to cover Yimkook's songs over the first two days of the event, and the crowd couldn't get enough. Most notably, BTS's junior group TWS delivered a stunning performance of Yimkook's chart of a 3D member Shinyu, Dohoon, and Jihoon gave it their all, and fans in attendance called the performance life-changing. It's no secret that TWS are big fans of their son Binim. Kyungmin from TWS even revealed that Never Let Go is his favorite song and shared how thrilled he was to meet Jungkook. This admiration definitely shone through in their performance. But the Jungkook love didn't stop there. 
Zirabazio members Gunwork and Jawoon also robbed the stage with their dance covers of Jungkook's tracks. Gunwook showcased his skills with standing next to you, while Jawoon brought the house down with Seven. Gunwook is no stranger to covering Jungkook's songs. He's performed them on multiple occasions, proving just how influential Jungkook is in the K-pop world. And if that wasn't enough, the Japanese boy group INI also joined the Jungkook celebration with their cover of Seven, alongside their performances of Ispa Armageddon and in Hyapun's Bite Me. The overwhelming presence of Jungkook's music had fans joking that Con LA 2024 turned into an impromptu golden listening party. The crowd loved every moment, proving once again why Jungkook is the idol of idols. Fans are already looking ahead to Jungkook's return from military service in June next year. With so many idols and fans vying for concert tickets, it looks like it's time to start practicing those ticketing skills. What did you think of the Jungkook covers at Con LA 2024? Which performance was your favorite? Today, we're diving into the latest buzz around Hyuna's eye-catching airport outfit that has everyone talking. Let's check it out. Hyuna has always been known for her bold and daring fashion choices, but her recent outfit at the airport has left netizens feeling a bit embarrassed. She was spotted on her way to Japan for the XD World Music Festival, and her unique style definitely stole the spotlight. At first glance, her polka dot hang top and black skirt might seem like a typical daily fashion choice, but look a little closer, and you will see what's causing all the commotion. Yes, that's right. Hyuna decided to accessorize her outfit with a lace thong worn on the outside of her skirt. This bold choice has netizens baffled and stirred quite a bit of discussion online. Comments from netizens ranged from confusion to embarrassment. Many are questioning the fashion statement, with some feeling that it's just too much. One user commented, this fashion is confusing and embarrassing for the onlooker, while another simply said, I don't get it. Hyuna has never shied away from pushing the boundaries with her fashion, and this latest choice is no exception. Whether you love it or hate it, you can't deny that she knows how to grab attention. So, what do you think of Hyuna's decision to wear underwear as an accessory? Is it a bold fashion statement or a bit too much? We have some thrilling news today that's got the whole fandom buzzing. BTS's Jimin and Jungkook are back with a brand new travel series on Disney Plus called Are You Sure? And trust me, the latest trailer has everyone talking. Set your calendars for August 8th, because that's when Are You Sure? premieres on Disney Plus. The new trailer just dropped, and it's already raising our anticipation through the roof. But there's one particular moment that sent armies into a complete meltdown. Check this out, Jungkook playfully attacks Jimin with a water gun. And what really stunned everyone? Jungkook was shirtless, wearing a swimsuit, showing off his impressive physique and his arm sleeve tattoos in all their glory. It's like an updated version of that iconic scene from BTS in the Soup 2. Armies are loving this throwback vibe and can't wait to see more. So, ARMY, how excited are you for, are you sure? What are you most looking forward to in this new series? Today, we've got some surprising and disappointing news about an exhibition dedicated to BTS's V held in Los Angeles. Fans were expecting a memorable experience, but instead, they were left feeling let down and even suspecting sabotage by hype. The exhibition, which aimed to celebrate V's incredible talent and charm, attracted numerous fans. However, those who attended have since voiced their dissatisfaction, sharing their negative experiences online. One fan described the event as extremely disappointing, noting several issues, no photos allowed, a very small venue occupying just two walls, late set up by the organizers, and to top it all off, this music wasn't even played. Fans are saying, this exhibition was unfair to both T. Hyung and the fans, and many feel that Hype has been mishandling this promotion in the US for a while. Some are even alleging that this event was a deliberate attempt to sabotage these influence in the US market. The backlash has been swift and intense, with fans making various posts on social media and tagging Hype's official accounts to voice their frustration. Even large fan bases like these Baidaba in China are speaking up. Ami, what do you think about this situation? Do you believe Hype is mishandling these promotions in the US? Today, we're diving into the latest buzz surrounding Blackpink's OS. Recently, she was spotted in the US with a man, and it's causing quite a stir. Let's get into the details. According to American entertainment media outlet Backgrid and other foreign sources, 
Iris was seen filming with a man at Sushi Park in Los Angeles on the 27th of July. The mystery man, none other than Anthony Vaccarello, the creative director of YVE St. Laurent. The reports indicate that the two were filming for YVE St. Laurent, which makes sense given Iris is strong TIs with the brand. She's been a global ambassador for YSL for quite some time now, and their collaborations are always a hit. This sighting comes shortly after Iris renewed her contract with YG Entertainment as a group member last year. Additionally, she recently signed a solo contract with the Black Label, led by producer Teddy, further solidifying her career both as a group member and a solo artist. And that's not all. Iris will be attending the production presentation of Blackpink's 8th anniversary film, Blackpink World or Born Pink in Cinemas which will be held on the 9th of August at Times Square in Yeonggyeongpo, Seoul. It's definitely an exciting time for all Blinks. What do you think about ROSS collaboration with Anthony Vaccarello? Are you excited about her upcoming appearances and projects? Today, we've got some surprising and emotional news about two beloved Thai actors, Nanan Koropat Kurdpan and Om Paul Chitsuanga known for their amazing chemistry in the series Bad Buddy. Let's dive into the details. Nanan and Om first stole our hearts in Bad Buddy back in 2021. Their on-screen chemistry and off-screen friendship made them one of the most popular BL pairs internationally. Fans adore their interactions and the duo even held fan meetings to celebrate their success. However, over time, fans noticed that the pair's interactions started to wane. Both Nanan and Om took on different acting projects and their once frequent appearances together became rare. Many fans were left wondering if something had happened between them. On July 31st, GMN TV, the television production and talent agency that represents both actors, released an official statement announcing that Nanan and Om have decided to separate as they pursue other projects. This announcement has gone viral, leaving fans with mixed emotions. The statement explained that the decision was mutual and was made as both actors are focusing on their individual careers. While some fans are heartbroken by the news, others are expressing support for Nanan and Ohm's decision to grow and explore new opportunities. It's never easy to see our favorite pairs go their separate ways, but it's important to remember that both Nanan and Ohm are incredibly talented and have bright futures ahead. We wish them all the best in their respective careers. What do you think about Nanan and Ohm's announcement? Are you excited to see what they do next? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated with all the latest K-pop and entertainment news. Today, we're diving into some clarifications made by Ji Seok Jin about the departures of former Running Man members. This is a hot topic that's been on everyone's mind, so let's get into it. On the 30th, Ji Seok Jin appeared on the YouTube channel Jipiona Hen Sesang, where he had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with singer Choa. During the chat, Ji Seok Jin addressed the rumors surrounding the exits of Gary, Lee Kuan Esoa, and Jian So Min from Running Man. Ji Seok Jin emphasized that there was no conflict with the members. He stated, I'll be honest here. It's not that they left because of problems with the members. Instead, each of them left to pursue their own dreams. Gary left to focus on his music career. Lee Kwang Esho stepped away due to health reasons. And Jian So Mi took time off to focus on her acting career. These were personal decisions made for their growth and well being. Choa, who was also a guest on the show, related to this by sharing her own experience of leaving AOE. She talked about the mental struggles and criticism she faced, which Ji Seo Jin empathized with deeply. Ji Seo Jin comforted Choa by saying, think that there are more people cheering you on, and highlighted that only a small number of people write malicious comments. His words were truly heartwarming and supportive. What do you think about Ji Seok Jin's clarification? Let us know in the comments below. Today, we're diving into some hot topics surrounding Blackpink's Lisa. From plagiarism allegations to relationship rumors, there's a lot to unpack. Let's get started. First up, Lisa's solo MV Rockstar has come under fire for alleged plagiarism. Some netizens have pointed out similarities between Lisa's choreography and visuals with other artists. While YG Entertainment has not issued a statement yet, the debate continues to rate online. What do you think? Are these allegations justified, or is it just a coincidence? 
Share your thoughts in the comments below. Now, onto the romance rumors. Lisa has been linked with Father Diociano, the CEO of Tag Hua and part of the prestigious Arno family. Recently, netizens spotted some interesting clues suggesting that Lisa was vacationing with Father Diocese's family. In an Instagram story posted by Gerald and Guyet, Father Diocese's sister-in-law, fans heard a voice that sounds like Lisa's and someone even mentioned her name. Lisa! Plus, Geraldine posted a picture of two dogs, one of which was Lisa's pet, Love. This has led fans to believe Lisa was indeed with Father Diocese's family. Despite all the drama, Lisa continues to shine. She was recently announced as the ambassador for Louis Vuitton, a major brand under the LVMH group, owned by Father D.R.I.C. Arnold's family. This move has further fueled speculation about their relationship. The relationship rumors first surfaced in July 2023, when Lisa was spotted with Father D.R.I.C. at a French restaurant. Since then, they've been seen together multiple times, even introducing each other to their families. In early May, Lisa attended a concert by Father D.I.C.'s mother, pianist Helene Mosia, in South Korea. Fans noticed a congratulatory flower arrangement from Lisa and Father D.I.C., sparking further speculation that Lisa might soon marry into one of the world's wealthiest families. What do you think about Lisa and Father D.I.C.'s relationship? Are they the next power couple? And how do you feel about the plagiarism allegations? Let us know in the comments below. Today, we have some juicy gossip involving two of South Korea's biggest stars, IU and Lee Yong Suk. Rumors are swirling that the couple has broken up. Let's dive into the details. A post title, I think Lee Yong Suk and IU have broken up, has gone viral, racking up over 160,000 views. The author of the post pointed to an article that claims IU and Lee Yong Suk have been spending their off days separately, hinting at a possible breakup. While the post has sparked a lot of speculation, fans are divided. Some believe the couple is still going strong, while others are convinced that they've called it quits. What do you think? Are IU and Lee Yong Suk still together, or is there trouble in paradise? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Despite the rumors, there hasn't been an official statement from either IU or Lee Yong Suk. Until then, it's all speculation. But one thing's for sure their fans are passionate and have strong opinions. Thank you for joining I Got News today. If you loved what you saw, hit like, share, and subscribe for more K Entertainment updates. Your support means the world. Drop your thoughts below and let's keep the K Entertainment conversation alive. As we sign off, keep spreading the K Entertainment love, stay tuned, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Until we meet again for more exciting news and updates,